Welcome everyone, thank you for joining me today. Today I have a really fun video. It's called Meet Me in Paris, it's a collaboration. I will tell you a little bit about it a little bit later. Right now I just wanna welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you to all my subscribers and all new viewers. I'm so excited about this video and I hope you enjoy it. So now, let's get on with the video. All of that matches my bonnet, oh, no it's not a test. Bonjour, everyone. I don't speak French, but I tried. Anyways, the first DIY is cute. Took this Hobby Lobby paper and these cute little heel and lipstick from Hobby Lobby. They're like a dollar. And I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree frame. So I'm just going to remove the backing and then I'm going to place it on the craft paper and just trace it. I'm going to create a cute little picture frame. So now I'm just going to cut it and I'm going to place it down with my glue stick. Alright, now I'm going to close it up and uh, place it back in there and uh, start adding the little lipstick and the heel to the front of the frame. So I'm going to place it down just by using my glue gun and um, can't use too much because it will crack the glass so I have to put just a very little <laughs> but it comes out really cute and at the end I do add a few more little sayings in the front and you'll see at the end it came out really cute quick and easy really adorable so I want to add a cute little bob taking Dollar Tree ribbon and Hobby Lobby ribbon and I'm going to mix them together and just place a little bow at the corner of the frame and this comes out really cute. And this is how it came out. Alright, today's Meet Me in Paris collaboration is an open playlist and it's hosted by Monarch's Market. Co-host is Indy Annie Jones and I will link the playlist in my description box below so make sure you take a look at all these wonderful crafters and have fun with this. It's a riot and I love it. I'm so glad I participated. So let's get back to crafting. All right, we're moving on to DIY number two. I took this little metal purse from Goodwill and I'm going to add uh, some flowers to it and some feathers and just make it look like it's from Paris. So I'm going to take this white feathery trim that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to glue it around the handle. So I'm going to take these pink flowers that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place them inside the purse. It looks magnifique. That means beautiful in French. All right, moving on to DIY number three. These kind of go together actually. So I'm taking this Dollar Tree uh, little mirror and this pretty sticker that uh, goes on glass it says I love Paris and I'm going to place it right on the mirror so I got these string of pearls from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to hot glue it all around the inside of the mirror All 
right, so it came out really pretty. It looks good. I'm going to add some of these Dollar Tree pink roses, just putting a few, just to top it off and give it a little color. And how cute is this? The combination of these two together looks so pretty. All right, we're moving on to DIY number four. I took these little stickers from Dollar Tree. It has the Eiffel Tower on it and the Dollar Tree flat canvas. And I'm going to use the paint called Admiral Blue. So I'm going to apply one coat. And um, even though it's pretty dark, I'm going to take a baby wipe and kind of like wipe some of the paint off because it is quite dark. Now I'm going to start applying the stickers to the board. I'm going to take off the Eiffel Tower first. Even though it's too long, I still made it work. I had to cut like the tip off, but it still looks good. Now I'm going to add the remaining stickers to the board where, you know, I'm going to try to fit as much as I can because the canvas is quite small. So I had to squeeze a Paris word on the side, but it still looks good. I think it came out really nice, super cute. Now I'm just cutting off the tip where it was hanging over the sides and that is it. This came out really pretty. All right, DIY number five, I took this printout and Dollar Tree frame and these little rub-ons and I'm gonna use Hobby Lobby craft paper. So I'm just gonna cut out the little bicycle and a little bit of the flower and that's what I'm gonna place on the image. So the image didn't have a lot of color to it, so I just wanted to add a little bit more. So I'm going to be using this craft paper from Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to place the image on top, and I'm just going to use my glue stick. Now I'm going to place the image back into the frame. And this is how it came out. DIY number six, I took this flat canvas from Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree little stickers. And I'm just going to take out some of the little stickers and I'm going to use Cameo Pink Paint to paint the canvas. I'm 
I'm just going to apply one quick coat. Now I'm going to start applying the little stickers and I'm going to hot glue them down. So I'm just going to place them randomly and um, this comes out really cute. Now I'm going to be using my glue gun to place them down. And this is how it turned out so far. Now I want to create a hanger, so I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree white feathers and I'm just going to hot glue to the back of the little canvas. Look how cute it came out. We're moving on to DIY number seven. Took these two little glass frames from Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree little stickers, and this comes out so stinking cute. Now, these little um, frames have two glasses in between, so I'm going to take one of the glasses out and then I'm going to place the heel pitcher inside. Now I'm going to place it right back inside, right on top of the other glass panel. Close it up and look how cute this came out. All right, moving on to the next one, I'm going to place the green one inside and um, these really are cute. I'm going to be adding a few of the little hearts also and then I actually place a pink heart in the other shoe. And now they're finished and this is what they look like together. So stinking cute. Okay, DIY number eight. I printed out this really pretty image and I bought this from Goodwill. So I'm going to be using some pieces out of this image. I'm cutting out the clock right now and I'm going to use the other pieces as well. These two colors, the ivory and the vintage, and mix them together and I'm going to paint the whole entire candle wood piece. So I, I use about two coats and right now I was kind of like painting around the clock because initially I was going to leave it, but uh, I do eventually paint it. So now I mix these two colors together because I want to get like a rose color and I'm going to be applying that to the top mm -hmm. and bottom base. Apply the same color to the top around the candle plate. 
So I used some of that rose color that I created and added some white to it and I'm just going to cover. I'm going to cover it very lightly just to give it a little bit of the rose tint. Alright, so to apply everything down I'm going to use Mod Podge and I'm going to start off with the cloud first. I'm attaching the butterfly that I actually cut off accidentally. <laughs> it's starting to look really pretty. Now I'm going to add the Eiffel Tower. I'm applying some Mod Podge over the top of the images. So I'm adding another image to the side and added Mod Podge to that as well. So I'm going to add this as well. I printed this out on tissue paper and I'm just going to apply it down with the Mod Podge. And this is what it looks like so far. So I'm going to use this little pink rose that I took off one of my um, stickers that I got from Dollar Tree. And I think it's starting to look very pretty. I like it. And I'm going to place one more rose on the other side. Now I'm going to wet distress it. I'm using a baby wipe and I just want to get some of the black to show. Now I'm taking this Dollar Tree candle. I don't have any bigger candles. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to wrap it with some uh, ribbon and just use the glue stick to wrap it and then I'm going to place that right on top. I think this came out so pretty, so French, so Paris. Last DIY, I'm going to be using these pretty Paris stickers from Dollar Tree in this 11 by 14 frame. And I'm also going to be using these pretty little lights that I got from Dollar Tree in the poster board. The first thing I'm going to do is unravel the lights and I'm going to start taping it to the back of the poster board. Now I'm going to flip over the poster board and use the other side to place down the stickers. I'm placing down the Paris board first, this way I can make sure everything's going to be straight. So I'm going to be adding a couple of the pink roses just to give it a little bit of color. Now I'm going to place it back into the frame and turn the lights on and this is how cute it came out.
Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a blast making it. It really was a lot of fun. And if you did like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Until next time, guys, I'll see you. Bye-bye.